Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, 8 on your side investigates. Her job, investigate whether children were abused. Her employer, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, put her in cuffs for falsifying an investigation. Pasco County Sheriff's Office investigators look into about 6,500 cases of possible child abuse every year. And now they're zeroing in on 95 cases handled by one of their own, CPI Kaylin Scott. Why? Because as Ada on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews tells us, she admitted she falsified reports about an abuse case. Yeah, and that brings into question every case that she investigated and every document she submitted since she started working at the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. 24-year-old Kaylin Scott may not realize it, but one attorney says when she falsified a report about interviewing and drug testing a family involved in a child abuse case, Scott created a dark shadow that will loom over the child protective system. If I were a judge, I'd have to sit back and wonder, can I trust the information I'm being given? Michelle D'Angelo has represented both sides in child dependency cases. Scott, she claims, betrayed a trust. I think this is probably one of the most egregious abuses you could have. Pasco County Sheriff Major Jeff Peake. So this came to light when one of our CPIs went out and investigated a uh, CPI investigation involving the same family that she had. The later investigation sparked when a newborn baby tested positive for an opiate related drug. If the child was born with this and you were pregnant, when this other investigation was going on, how come this didn't come up then when you were drug tested? Detectives investigated, confronted Scott. She fessed up, they arrested her. According to Major Peak, the sheriff's office is looking through all 95 cases Scott handled in the little less than a year she worked as a CPI. We're going through each case systematically looking at anything that would identify a pattern. Michelle D'Angelo believes when a CPI lies, it puts children in jeopardy. We're not protecting kids anymore. We're leaving kids potentially at risk because they're still in this home because she's lied and said she visited, everything was fine. And now, according to the sheriff's office, investigators found three more cases in which Scott claimed she interviewed people that she didn't talk to. Detectives forwarded those cases to the Pasco County State Attorney's Office. Prosecutors will decide whether or not she faces more charges. She's already looking at one third-degree felony. What's mm -hmm. interesting, when people cheat a system, they're doing it for a reason. Uh, she fessed up to this, and what I don't understand is why would she do it in the first place? That's a question I asked if, you know, she explained why she did it, and according to Major Peak, she gave no real reason. This case, though, gave the sheriff's office pause. It plans to broaden its quality assurance. Major Peak told us supervisors will now call family members involved in child abuse investigations to make sure that CPIs interviewed who they said they did. There are 48 other CPIs at the Pasco County Sheriff's Office tonight who are disappointed and upset because they know this puts them in a bad light, oh, yeah. too. Right, exactly. Now they're going to have to circle back. Absolutely. All right, All right. thanks, Steve. Thank you. And if you have a problem you'd like Steve to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline, 1-800-338-0808.